welcome back to Black, Gray, and White. I'm Bailey. I'm Sandy. And today I am going over, and it is called a 2022 astrological planner. Ooh. I know. Get your side of things. So, Mama Sandy picked this up for me, and I have a long battle with planners. And like, <laughs> I love to be organized, but I am very bad about finding the time to do that. So for this year's planner, she got it um, with in tune with the moon cycles, which has been really great. Uh, I've been wanting to refamiliarize myself and get more in depth with how to how your energy connects to the moon and the different cycles. That's been very interesting to me. So this planner is sixty five dollars. I saw it, I put the link in the video description, and it's forty five dollars now. So feel free go. to get it. There you it's go. it's a lot off, and this um. So this planner has so much information and I am a novice in the moon energy field, but this, this really does, it, it shows you the astrological bodies, um, the calendar aspectarian, moon signs and elements. So it really does go so much deeper than I understand, but it does have like little trick tips and tricks for beginners. Oh, so I really like that. So the first thing it does is it has it has you do your astrological birth chart, and this shows all my signs, all that type of stuff. Um, it goes through like fire days, earth days, and air days, which correspond yeah. to the elements, which is always interesting. And then also, of course, to the signs, to the astrological signs. And then the next thing that they have that I really liked. So what they do for beginners, which <laughs> is me is they put a little symbol next to what what the day is. And we are filming this on January 31st. And today's moon energy is Stroke of Genius. So Stroke of Genius is genius mind explosions, big picture, future thinking. You're welcome, YouTube. Social media potion, ah, creative genius elixir, days to access innovation and human potential, Openness to new ideas and directions can be challenging for fast change, impulsiveness, detachment from feelings, and impatience with old world ways. So this has been the best thing. There's a, it's like a list of 15, 20 different things. And this has been the best to how to tune my, to tune my day oh. into the energies. And then it also has, it has a moon planting guide. So it walks you through how to do plantings with the different moon cycles so for like a new moon, it is an increase from gravity. So it's um, best time to plant ground plants that produce seeds outside of the fruit, such as lettuce, cabbage, and grains. So it takes you through when the best planting th thing is for each different they type probably of. probably took it from the Farmer's Almanac. They could have, but that's what, <laughs> I mean, the moon's been around for forever, right? So yeah, this yeah. is, it predates the Farmer's, farmer's Almanac. Yeah. So yeah, it was just, I, I have never seen anything like this. And so this was really cool. I'm excited to, I got some, I got some cucumbers and I'm going to wait <laughs> to plant them. <laughs> I am. I'm very excited. And then the other thing that it had that I was really, one of the other things that it had that I was really excited about is it has um, how to tie how your menstrual cycle times in with the moon, which you should be, right, if you are completely centered and do all those things, it should sync up to the different moons. And that's been something that I've been working on and working into. I haven't gotten, um, I haven't quite synced up yet or been able to work through. It has different exercises to do during the full moon and challenges and stuff like that. So I haven't quite gotten into it, but I'm very excited that it gives you information about My, it. <clears throat> so I have a friend that um, she was, or I met, acquaintance, I guess not a friend, and she was telling me about the cycles and the moon and how, yeah, a lot of your symptoms can be relieved. So if you are having the migraines, cramps, or cramps whatever, yep. she mm -hmm. swears by it. And um, I did email her and ask for some tips and stuff but I didn't hear back from her so but yeah fascinating that I, I I am very excited to have this go through I did use they um they had a mantra that for when you when you're going when you're when you're on your flow it's all about releasing all negativity or past things so anytime I did start to feel a little crampy or anything like that I did go through my I release I release and I thought it went well See? I felt I felt yeah. good about it it changes the the mindset of it anyways and then the other really cool thing about this calendar is it sets you up with long-term goals and intentions. 
So it has you go through like what your five intentions are for the year and then it breaks it down into like different categories. So they have um, spiritual and then they have what you would like, what steps you need to be taking to do that. Um, they go through, it goes through a lot. They do spiritual work, physical, wealth, social. So it really takes you inspiration. It takes you through all of it. And then you get to the calendar. And then before each month, it has you break it down into monthly goals and then weekly goals. So you're able to put what you want to accomplish each week and what steps you should be taking to accomplish that, which helps me stay accountable. And then I was just going to show you guys, I use mine as like a checkoff list. So I write everything I have to do and then I mark it off. That's how I use my planners. But this is what a blank week looks like. And then I know, and I'll have Terry zoom in, but you can see in the corner right here, it has psychic and shadowy so that's so that's what we were reading off earlier with the moon energy for the day and then the month is always cool because it really does it'll show you all the signs of um like it's a uh, like they have mercury conjunct chiron and all that kind of stuff so it, it goes through stuff that i have no idea all these symbols mean something and it has a little syllabus in the front but it really does it breaks you through like uh moon and jupiter all those different risings and ascendants and i'm not and quite there's familiar. times to do certain intentions i, I took a, a mini workshop and like certain moon phases you do you set up for releasing intentions for receiving and i forgot to say that my my favorite one of my favorite things is at the beginning of the month so this is the month of april so it gives you um, an affirmation for the new moon. I nurture the divine hero within and choose to recognize my strength. Yeah. So, so I really like to have that mindset. And I did I did celebrate the full moon in January and that was that was nice. So I'm it's very it's very it's been very helpful on my path um, to getting more in touch. The it's from Magic of Eye. I linked where you can get this in the description box. I've I'm really been enjoying it. So Cool. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Let us know what your favorite planner is. Scroll to the bottom. Leave <laughs> us a comment. All right. Sending love and light. Bye, guys.